Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here today for a new video. We are here at Disneyland. We are celebrating Pixar Fest. The festival has already been going on for a little bit since I believe April 26th, but today is the first day that the festival marketplace booths are out, which has lots of different new food options available. Pixar Fest is going to be running at the Disneyland Resort until early August, so make sure you come and check it out. I'm gonna show you everything we can do today, so let's go. We're starting off with some food. This is the smoked firewood impossible chicken. I'm really excited to try it out. Yummy. It's not that spicy. Next up from the Turning Red booth, we are trying out the Nobody Like You non-alcoholic cooler and also the Red Panda Bao. Let's give them a try. We headed over to the little magic key area that they have set up. It's nice and cool in the shade with some high top tables if you're going to enjoy something to eat. I really liked the drink. It was very tasty and refreshing. I just took the gummy out since it is not vegan and I am. So Bill enjoyed that. And let's get his thoughts now on the Red Panda Bao. What's your strategy here, Bill? Are you gonna pour the oil on top or are you gonna break it up? Try to break it, I guess. I feel like I bought a knife. Well, we're improvising. Good. You like it? Is it hot? It is spicy, yeah. Oh, spicy. Yum! It is quite large, so keep that in mind if you're gonna order it. Speaking of food, I wanted to quickly touch on the Marketplace booths. There are six booths styled after Ratatouille, Turning Red, Elemental, Soul, Luca, and Inside Out. Each of these has specialty food items themed to match. There is not a sip and saver pass like there have been for past festivals like Lunar New Year or Food and Wine. So just keep that in mind. It could be a bit pricey to try out all of the items. There is a handy double-sided flyer that is available on various little kiosks throughout the park that has all of the booths and the foods on it so you don't have to keep checking your phone or anything like that to keep track of everything. We are heading into the Hyperion Theater courtyard now to go grab a little magic key freebie. So let's go grab it. Now it is time for Better Together, a Pixar Pals celebration. This is a parade that is happening in DCA twice a day. I'm super excited. I haven't gotten to see it yet. So let's go get a seat.
because I'm not really sure what we're gonna do next, so let's go find out. I decided to pop into Five and Nine to check out the merch options for Pixar Fest, which includes items like two t-shirts, two zip-ups, a spirit jersey, and a tote. There's also a mug and a tumbler. Those each have a bunch of characters on them, a baseball hat and a reversible bucket hat, and of course a pin. And for my fellow magic key holders, there's a special t-shirt design as well as a pin. Those were at the festival gifts booths outside of the Little Mermaid attraction. I just kind of wish that they had switched up the designs from merchandise item to merchandise item, like had characters from different things on the different items instead of like repeating characters on everything. But let me know what your thoughts are. I am over at Paradise Garden Grill now. There's some live music happening and it's time to get something to eat. I got the vegan borache. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've never had this before. And also we got some street style watermelon, which is one of my favorite snacks. So I'm really excited to dig in. These are two of the new menu items available at Paradise Garden Grill for the summer. They were both so delicious. The warache was super filling, especially with the rice and beans on the side. I do wish the street style watermelon was served in a cup. It would have made it a little bit easier to eat, but it was so refreshing and yummy. Now we're checking out the Club Pixar area, which is primarily in Hollywoodland. So the area kind of by Monsters Inc. Um, there are games to play. You can watch shorts at a really cute little drive-in theater. There's live performances, music, photo ops and a lot more so let's go explore like i said club pixar is over in the hollywood back lot area i think the highlight of the area is the little drive-in theater with limited seating where they are showing different Pixar shorts. This is super cute. There are also games on either side of that, like tic-tac-toe and cornhole, which there were lots of kids enjoying when I was over there. There are also things like photo ops. Of course, the face painters are over there as well. There's food and an interactive dance party. And I just think this is a really cute area and a great use of the space. One of the fun things that you will not find on your Disneyland park map are 50 hidden Pizza Planet trucks. They are hidden throughout Disneyland and DCA. I believe there's also one or two somewhere in downtown Disney. I'm not going to tell you where they are, but I will include a couple of clips of one I've, ones I've found. So if you want to try to look for them yourself, um, you really have to keep an eye out. Some of them are on the ride. Some of them are on ride queues. There are some in windows. They're all over the place. Some of them are really well blended in. So you have to really keep an eye out. Um, I think this is a really fun little thing and I love when they do stuff like this. We are now going to head over to Jolly Holiday where the Pixar Fest food tour continues. Bill is getting the Silencio Bruno sandwich. It's kind of like a chopped Italian style sandwich with meat, veggies, and cheese. So let's see how it is. Bill, what are your thoughts? Well, we're all very good. Probably one of the better like special event items I've had. Wow, nice. Glad you're enjoying. Something we missed out on today was the Pixar Playtime that's happening in the Fantasyland Theater, but this is available, I believe it's from 11.30 to 5.30 daily, and it's like playtime, dancing, I think there's characters that are over there for you to meet. I can't go over there right now because it's closed for the night, but there are a couple of photo ops, so if you come back here at night, um, it's not too busy over here right now, and you can take some photos over here as well. So the fireworks are supposed to be in about an hour and a half, but it has been kind of windy today. So I'm a little apprehensive um, about staying. We're gonna kind of decide right now what we're gonna do. What are you thinking? You think they're gonna happen or no? I don't know, probably. But you we'll think see. they will happen? Mm -hmm. Not sure, but it's the new Pixar fireworks show and we haven't gotten to see it yet. So I'm really hoping it happens. Um, we are not often here at night, so I always want to see the fireworks and stuff, obviously, when we're here at night for them. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. And if they get canceled, we can't even go over and do World of Color because it's grad night in DCA. So the park over there is closing early. So I know it's also gonna be extra busy in Disneyland, like probably right about now, because I'm pretty sure eight o'clock is when the park closed um, for day guests, or maybe it's nine, I'm not sure. But anyway, we're just deciding what we're gonna do. Bill's looking at wind gust estimations or something on the weather app. Um, so we're just trying to decide what we want to do. Maybe we'll go try to pop onto a ride or something. Um, but yeah, I do love, I do love nighttime at Disneyland. It's always so fun and peaceful, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Unfortunately, we didn't have the greatest view for the fireworks, but they did happen, which was still exciting. I do look forward to hopefully getting a better viewing spot on future visits this summer where I can actually see the castle projections or at least to watch on Main Street where they have the projections um, because I just couldn't really see too well because of this umbrella and the people crossing, but it was still fun to watch. <laughs> going to be it for our Pixar Fest video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. It was a really fun one to film. Let me know what you're most looking forward to if you're going to be coming to Disneyland to celebrate Pixar Fest or if you are not able to, what your favorite part of the video was. I'd love to hear from you. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one again really soon. Bye!